Hi all, welcome to the lecturing series of CS402 Data Mining and Warehousing. In this lecture series, we will discuss about Module 5 that is Association Rule Mining. Now we will see the main contents in Module 5. Module 5 is divided into two sections like first section is about association rule mining in that you have to study what are the concepts in association rule mining and two algorithms that we are using in association rule that is a priori and FP growth algorithm and in the second section you have to study about the cluster concept that is clustering analysis the introduction about the con clusters and the types of data in cluster analysis and the clustering methods used for categorization and in partitioning method you have to study about k means and k methods algorithm now in this lecture we will discuss about association rule mining the first topic association rule mining okay so in association rule mining what is mean by this association Association rule mining is a rule based method used in data mining which is used for finding or discovering interesting relationship between variables in a large database. It will help to find us the strong rules discovered in the database. So what are the main steps comes under this mainly two stages. The first stage is finding frequent pattern and second step is derive associations from frequent pattern. So in this association rule you can find a conditional dependencies. What is mean by this conditional dependency? It is like if A is happening, if A implies B then if A happen there is likely there is likely to happen or there is a chance of occurring B also. That is why we are calling association rule containing conditional dependencies. So the main two stages are finding frequent patterns and derive association rules from frequent pattern. And you can find the patterns, frequent patterns in some examples like some in time series data and in fault analysis and some transactions like market basket analysis and social network analysis in all the sections and in all this real world scenarios you can find pattern and this frequent pattern will give the relationship and the behavior of the items present in that okay so next is about where we are using this association rule or when to use this association rule this association rule are used to find to find features which occur together or to find features which are correlated so association rule help us to understand which are the features always occur together and how these features are correlated. Now we will see some examples like some one classical example of this association rule is market basket analysis. So in market basket analysis uh, it will help us to understand the customer buying habits by finding associations between different item that means while going for a shopping the customer will buy some particular item and the customer places this play uh, places all these items in the shopping basket in that whichever which and all items are frequently occur together like for example consider if a customer buys milk there is a likely chance or there is a chance that customer will buy bread also so milk is one item if buys milk there is a chance to buy bread also so milk and bread these two are frequent item set another example is another example for frequent item set is milk while buying milk there is a chance to buy bread and butter also so these two are frequent item set milk while buying milk there is a chance to buy butter and bread so these two are frequent item set so this will help us to uh, help the uh, shopkeepers to place these items in a close proximity to increase their sales so there we are using this association rule 
so some items are occurring frequently or some items are buying frequently so those item we can place in a close proximity or we can give some discount on that some particular items to increase the sale so while analyzing this frequent item pattern we can make association rule so we can make strong association rule out of it to increase their profit another example is uh, some people will visit web page x there is a chance likely to visit page y also so this x and y then uh, you can see some recommendation this channel visitors also visit this channel also so these are like some examples of strong association rules okay now we will see mining transaction in my transaction is nothing but is a collection of items bought together and a transaction is a set of transaction is a collection of items bought together and item set is a set of items comes under that transaction now we have to find the frequent item set means an item set if we are buying an item set a then we are buying b also if both a and a union b are frequent item set okay now we will see an example and you will be able to understand it more clearly so consider this you can see some five transaction like t1 t2 t3 t4 and t5 so out of this five transaction out of this five transaction some items like items uh, i1 i2 i3 till i7 some seven items you can see right in the seven items some items in this transaction t1 i1 i2 i3 and i4 four items are occurring that is four items set and transaction t2 it contain t i4 i1 i5 and i6 like four transactions are occurring and in t4 three items are occurring so you can see some set of items occurring in each transaction now in this transaction series transaction database you have to clearly specify some threshold value what does mean this threshold value this threshold value will help us to understand how many times this item set should appear in this transaction then only we will consider that as a frequent like here i am setting frequency threshold value as 3 now if i am considering if i am taking frequency one item set means in this item set it should contain one item and this item should appear at least in three transaction now just consider the item set i1 i1 is appearing in t1 okay then i1 uh, then i1 is appearing in which tra whichever transaction i1 is appearing in t2 also i1 is appearing in t3 also so in uh, t4 also t5 also so it is it is class it is satisfying frequency threshold value 3 so it will comes under frequency item set okay now consider i2 whether i2 is satisfying uh, frequency threshold value 3 okay i1 i2 is appearing in transaction t1 as well as in as well as in t3 as well as in uh, t5 also so it is satisfying the frequency threshold value so it will it is considered as a frequent item set now what is meant by this frequent one item set that means the item set contain how many items if it is one item means in this frequent item set only one items will be there frequent two item set means you will consider two items consider i1 and i1 and i4 i2 and i1 like a pair will be there if it is three item set means i1 i2 i3 three items will be there that is known as uh, item set k item set so inside that frequent means it should satisfy that pair should satisfy frequency threshold value now consider the two item set i1 and i2 i am just taking the values i1 and i2 whether it is satisfying frequency threshold value 3 that means this i1 i2 pair should come un under or inside three transactions i1 and i2 is appearing in t1 i1 and i2 is appearing in t3 and i1 and i2 appearing in t5 so it is satisfying the frequency threshold value 3 so it is a two frequent item set now what about 
I1 and I3. Just check the I1 and I3. I1. I1. I3 pair. In I1 and I3, I1 and I3 is occurring in T1. And I1 and I3 is nowhere occurring. Only in one transaction it is occurring. So, this two item set is not satisfying this frequency threshold. So, it is not frequent. Now, I4 and I1 is also satisfying frequency threshold 3. So, this is also a frequent 2 item set. Now, what about frequency 3 item set? What is meant by this frequency 3 item set? That means it should contain 3 items like I1, I2 and I3 and I1, I2 and I3 and these 3 items, these 3 items will contain, should contain at least in 3 transaction. It should be this item I1, I2 and I3 is occurring in T1 but it is not occurring anywhere. This pair is not occurring anywhere in any other transaction. So, Three frequent three items it is not present in this transaction database. Clear? Okay. Now we will move on to the next one. Like basic terminologies in transaction database, like uh, what is mean by strong association through uh, what is mean by frequency as frequency of an item set. Frequency of an item set is nothing but the number of times, number of number of times it is occurring in an item set is known as frequency item set k item set means in an item set how many items are present two k item means two item set means inside that item set two items will be there three item set means three items will be there and the frequency of k item set means how many times that item set is occurring okay uh, and support threshold and strong association rule we will come in next slide okay so in order to find the rule of interestingness, in order to find the association rule, you have to consider two top two uh, two values like support and confidence are the two values of measuring measure of interestingness. So uh, usually, uh, in a exam point of view, this measure of interestingness is a very important topic. So two measure two measures of interestingness are support and confidence. Now we will see what is mean by this support and what is mean by confidence. Now support is nothing but support of a rule is a percentage of item set containing A union B. That is support of the rule A implies B is probability of P of A union B. Now confidence of a rule is the percentage of item set containing A that also contain A union B. So, you have to find in order to find the confidence of A implies B, first it is the probability of B by A that is support count of A union B divided by support count of A. Now, we will see some example uh, in order to understand the support and confidence clearly. Now, just consider this one. These are some 5 transaction T1, T2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and in each transaction, uh, some set of items I am buying like for example bread, milk, butter, bread, milk, beer, cock, diaper. So, these are the some item set. So, in first first transaction T1, T1 you can see first item set, uh, first item set is uh, TID 1 it contain two items so it is a two item set two item set that means it is contain two items and which are the two item bread and milk the second transaction t2 is a four item set that contain four items so these are the four item milk diaper beer and cock in t3 like these are the four item now we have to consider we have to find the measure of interestingness uh, support rule and confidence rule right now we will see what is meant by support and what is meant by confidence. So, in order to find that, I am just representing it in a table format. In the first transaction, we are buying milk and bread. So, it is a two item set, we are buying milk and bread. In the second transaction, I'm, it is a four item set, I am buying beer, bread, diaper and milk, diaper and egg. Okay. So, uh, with this, with this table, I made this uh, binary data binary representation of this items item set like this now we will find 
the support rule and confidence rule of the association rule okay so support in order to calculate support support can be calculated as the fraction of rows containing both a and b or joint probability of a and b okay so how we will find support just see this diaper beer and milk if diaper and beer if we are buying diaper and beer there is a likely chance of buying milk so in order to find the support and confidence of this particular rule diaper beer likely to buy milk so in order to find this you have to find the support and confidence value so first uh, for this you have to take like this if a implies b like if a implies b if a is diaper beer pair and b is milk so in order to find the support of this how we will find the support in order to find the support uh, you have to find the rows containing both a and b divided by or joint probability of a and b okay so for that diaper beer in how many uh, examples this diaper beer pair will come diaper and beer diaper and beer see this diaper diaper is comes under diaper beer okay in t2 diaper beer is there t2 t3 and t4 diaper beer pair is occurring right diaper beer so inside that diaper beer implies milk is our transaction set right diaper beer inside that how many in in this diaper beer milk is occurring in this t2 is not occurring only in t3 and t4 right so out of five transaction two transactions are satisfying diaper beer milk right diaper and beer implies milk category so its support is 2 by 5 so out of five transaction diaper beer milk is satisfying that will come as a support count clear okay now next is next we will see milk diaper beer pair milk diaper and beer so milk milk diaper and beer comes under t2 milk diaper beer milk diaper beer only two transaction so total five transaction inside the two transaction you are getting milk diaper beer so its support value is 2 by 5 see it's 2 by 5 now what about milk diaper bread milk diaper milk diaper bread milk milk diaper and bread is occurring in similarly two out of five transaction so that is also 2 by 5 okay now uh, now we have to find the confidence right how to find the confidence value for finding confidence among the rows containing a divided by rows containing b okay so what is the rule diaper beer implies milk okay so we will see diaper beer and milk diaper beer is occurring in how many transaction c check diaper beer is occurring diaper and beer okay in t2 diaper beer is occurring and diaper beer second one diaper and beer third one so total th out of three transaction diaper beer is occurring and in that in how many transaction milk is occurring milk is occurring only in two like t2 t3 and t4 so it is confidence value is 3 so diaper beer in how many transaction that a is occurring divided by uh, a and b are occurring divided by uh, the value row containing b is the next is the way to find confidence now we will see next example milk implies diaper and beer milk implies diaper and beer okay in how many transaction milk is occurring t1 t t1 t3 t5 and t5 so out of four transaction milk is occurring now what is our rule milk implies milk milk implies diaper and beer okay 
so milk is occurring in four transaction milk 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 okay milk is one in all this four transaction milk and diaper beer right so diaper beer pair will occurring in diaper beer okay diaper beer in t3 and t4 so its confident value is 2 so out of four transaction inside two it is occurring so its confidence value is 2 by 4 i think it just clear now we will see what is mean by minimum support threshold and minimum confidence threshold uh, for finding frequent item set we have to specify the support value is support threshold value is this support confidence threshold is like this then only we will take only those rules it should satisfy minimum support threshold and minimum confidence threshold if it is satisfying we will call that rule as strong association rule okay so we discussed about support and confidence how to find support and confidence one example of finding support and confidence and we will see where this association rule mining techniques are used uh, one main application is market basket analysis and for topic identification like some words will be appearing together for example if you are mining a text document some words will be frequently occurring together in order to find that pattern you can use this technique association rule and for plagiarism detection and as a biomarker in biological data analysis some proteins will be occurring together in order to find some disease you have to find whether that protein occurrence is present or not for that we are using this rule association association rule so in biomarkers and in time series analysis to trigger the events also we are using this rule, association rule mining so these are the main application areas so that's all about this video thank you